Hi, I'm Sarah Hodgson from When Dogs Talk, Sarah Listens. Today I'm here to talk to you about the fetching behavior, teaching dogs to retrieve. Most people don't realize that this behavior has to be taught, even to dogs who do it naturally. It is equivalent to teaching a young child to share. Aesop came to us not long ago, and he certainly hasn't learned how to fetch properly. It's an important skill in our household because we have kids all around, and I have two kids, age six and two, who love to uh, play with balls and throw them for Aesop. I'm going to take you out in the field in a minute and show you lesson one of fetching. And what I want you to recognize is that the skill involves three behaviors. It involves getting a dog to follow an object out, a ball or a toy. So getting a dog to chase an object. The second step is encouraging the dog to bring the object back to you. And the third most important step is getting a dog to release. If you get in the habit of chasing a dog around for objects, they're never going to learn to fetch. So what we're going to do, I'm going to be tossing a ball for Aesop, and you'll notice when he gets it, I praise him for that. He did the first leg. He ran out and got the ball. Now what you'll notice is that he runs back, but he doesn't run it back to me. He just kind of runs towards me and lies down. When he does that, I'm going to bring out another toy to bait him over, and when he spits the ball out, I'm going to shout the word give and toss the ball again. I'm going to keep the lesson short because if you make it the lesson too long, it discourages their enthusiasm. So follow me out. Let's get going. Boy. Here we go. Give. Good boy. Good puppy. Good puppy. Bring. Give. Good puppy. Good puppy. Good. Give. Good puppy. What a good boy. 